This is the future. Okay, I have been hearing a lot of players saying that they don't want to go into the Duveri experience knowing for a fact that they'll be spending 2 hours or 4 hours of their time farming open world stuff, especially those materials needed for their Incan and guns. They say that they don't want to play Drifter and staying in the normal Warframe gameplay, well, that's their choice and you do lads. There's no one stopping you from doing your thing in Warframe but, I would just like to clarify some misconceptions about farming materials needed for the Incan and weapons. The fact is, it only takes a couple of minutes to farm these materials. Pathos Clamp can be farmed only by killing Oro Worm bosses. In normal Duveri experience, you will be given 10 Pathos Clamp per Oro Worm kill while in the Steel Path version, it will be 15 Pathos Clamp. More fang can be obtained through the fishing minigame in the plains of Duveri, while rune marrow can be obtainable in either Duveri experience or the circuit. 7 to 11 containers spawn per undercroft tile. Missions like defense or excavation will start when players move to the objective. Starting the mission can be delayed to allow an efficient squad to quickly search the tile in peace for maximum gain. By the way, these are not the only materials needed for the Incan and weapons evolution. Each Incanon has different material needs and they all can be farmed, most of the time in Duveri experience. In fact, if you enjoy the Duveri experience, then you won't have a problem like this, and like I have said, it won't take 4 hours just to get these materials and kill Oro Worm bosses. Now, let us use the Steel Path version of the Duveri experience. In my case, solo farming materials that I need for my Incan and Lateran, I only spend about 45 plus minutes in the plains of Duveri to get resources and kill the Steel Path or a Worm boss. It would be about less than 40 minutes if I was flawless in my run and not missing any jumps, or mechanics in the Oro Worm boss fight. 30 minutes run to gain resources and the Pathos Clamp would be achievable in a solo farming method. In a team though, I think that would be cut down to half and would only need 10 to 15 minutes to farm all the stuff you need for your Incan and weapons. I don't believe you squad leader as you have videos extending your stay from 2 hours to even 4 hours in Steel Path Duveri experience. I'll be honest with you, I did enjoy the Duveri experience gameplay, and my goal was to farm as many intrinsics in one run as fast as possible so I will be done with my drifter intrinsics. That was the goal, and I did not intend to just finish the mission and run it back. Instead, I was determined to stay for long hours so I can max all Drifter intrinsics in one run. In three days, I have managed to do that, and maxed all Drifter intrinsics so, there's no point for me in staying for longer hours right now in the Duveri experience since it will not benefit me anymore. 30 minutes is the max time I need to farm all resources and kill the Oro Worm boss in Steel Path level. Why Steel Path though? Just a personal preference and when you are doing solo farming, I would advise that you go with the normal Duveri experience since the only difference is that from 10, you will be given 15 pathos clamp after killing the Oro Worm in the Duveri experience. Why 30 minutes though and not lower more? There's two reasons. First is that, as we all know, Duveri experience has a randomizer feature wherein you don't know what Warframe and weapons will be available for you to pick. And the second one is that, I needed about 400% damage boost from my deadly decrees, from the drifters combat intrinsic, to kill not just the dax units in the plains of Duveri, but also enemies in the undercroft, and the final steel path or a worm boss fight. Let's be real, it's fun to exhaust your decree, to the point that you got them all and got a whopping 1090% buff from your deadly decrees but, it's not necessary. 400% damage buff is all I need, not to mention that this will be enough for my drifter as well when it comes to his health values. Take note that I am only talking about solo farming materials needed for your Incan and form here. The best way to get that 400% buff for Steel Path Duveri experience is with a team. All you need to do is appoint your team in one area, either top, middle, or bottom of Duveri and then just do all the side missions in that area and farm decretion till you get to the 400% damage mark. But squad leader, I don't have the deadly decree yet. Well then, it's a must since this will help you deal damage. Another good thing about farming with a team is that a decree you gain will be distributed to all party members which means you will stack decrees much faster. But then again, I know there are solo players out there who like to farm at their own pace and, some people would prefer to do solo because of the matchmaking nonsense. So, 
My best advice again is to farm the bottom part of the plains of Duviri, as this area right here has the most frequent reoccurring side missions. I have talked about this in my last video so, if you want to know the full details of it, then better check that video after this. One last thing before I let you go is that, do not expect the same result as what you are seeing in the video. I got Excalibur and I built him towards Duviri missions that's why you see me easily finish the Undercroft. If you want to know all my Warframe builds for Duviri, then check out this weekend as I got a video coming detailing all the builds I'm using for all Warframes when it comes to Duviri Paradox. If you are a new player and doesn't own any of the mods yet, or a player that is progressing in the game and most of the Warframes you get are those you don't own and you only have loaner mods, then I would advise to stick with a team composition for farming these materials. If you really want to do it solo, then at least try it in the normal Duveri experience and not in Steel Path levels. Another thing is about the Steel Path or a Worm boss. Is it hard with only a 400% damage boost? What about the phase wherein you need to destroy the rings but you don't have any good weapons? Well, if you don't have a good weapon, then a heavy gun will eventually spawn in a couple of minutes of fighting the boss. This heavy gun with 400% damage is enough to destroy the Oro Worm rings, and as well as kill the minions of the boss. I have been running Steel Path Duveri experience myself, farming these resources, and I'm still enjoying the mission. What I usually do is to lessen the time spent in farming solo so, I test my damage boost from deadly decrease from 400% down to 350% and it also works but the only problem is, the fight gets longer this way, especially in the Undercroft and Aura Worm boss fight, and when you have some crappy weapon and warframe, so, I hope that this video clear things up. Now that I am full level on my Drifter Intrinsic, there's no need to dive for hours and do very experience and while farming, it would only take me 30 to 40 minutes solo farming the Steel Path levels, with a team, the time spent will be cut down in half. So basically, you are just like farming bounties in other open worlds, or doing isolation vaults solo, or hunting idolands. It's not as bad as what they are saying and, Digital Extremes did an update today that lowers the crafting cost of things in Duveri Paradox, and as well as the prices on the vendor. They have reduced the Duveri resource cost requirements for several of Akrithis wares and for certain resources used in the Incarn and Genesis installation process at Cavalero. That said, the new resource costs now more accurately reflect what the average player collects as they complete spirals. Incarn and Genesis costs specifically have been reduced for the following resources, with other costs remaining untouched. Arid Scales, Narcris Pebble, Sagan Pearl, Agristone, and Lamenters. They are working on a script to refund players who have purchased from Acrithis, and a separate script to refund applicable Incarn and Genesis costs seeing as there have been considerable reductions to costs you may have already purchased. They want to appropriately refund those contributions in light of these changes. In addition, resource boosters now apply to Duveri fish resources obtained from more feeding and they are also working on having resource boosters apply to rune marrow from runic compacts in the Undercroft. Honestly, if they had implemented these changes early, or even at the release of Duveri, then there will be lesser complaints. But what do you expect from DE? They always allow us to beta test their updates at launch, and then make changes later. Typical Warframe scenario. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.